Mastering Music Imports, a guide for musicians. Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of customs brokerage and exploring the process of importing musical instruments and accessories into the USA. Whether you're a musician, part of a band, or an orchestra, or simply a music enthusiast, this video is for you. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the nitty-gritty details of importing musical instruments, let's first understand the role of a customs broker. A customs broker acts as an intermediary between you and the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, to ensure your goods clear customs smoothly. One of the important aspects of importing musical instruments is the customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures compliance with customs regulations and payment of duties, taxes, and fees. It's essential for importers to obtain a customs bond, either a single entry bond or a continuous bond, depending on the frequency of their imports. Now that we have a basic understanding of the customs broker and customs bond, let's discuss the process of actually importing musical instruments into the USA. First and foremost, it's crucial to ensure that your musical instruments are well packaged and properly labeled for shipment. This will facilitate the smooth movement of your goods through the transportation network. Another vital aspect of the import process is the Importer Security Filing ISF. The ISF, also known as the 10 plus 2 rule, requires importers to provide detailed information about the goods being imported at least 24 hours prior to the vessel's departure from the foreign port. The ISF includes information such as the shipper's name and address, consignee's name and address, and a detailed description of the goods. Once your musical instruments reach the port of entry, your customs broker will work closely with the CBP to ensure a smooth customs clearance process. Your customs broker will review your documents, such as the commercial invoice, packing list, bill of lading, and any necessary permits or licenses, to ensure compliance with customs regulations. It's important to note that musical instruments may be subject to additional inspections by the CBP or other regulatory agencies. These inspections may include checking for proper documentation, verifying the country of origin, and ensuring compliance with regulations such as the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora sites, for certain protected species. Import duties and taxes are also an important consideration when importing musical instruments. The customs broker will calculate the applicable duties and taxes based on factors such as the harmonized system, HS, code, the value of the goods, and any relevant trade agreements or preferential tariff programs. Finally, after all the necessary procedures and payments are done, your imported musical instruments will be released by customs and delivered to your designated location. It's always a great feeling to receive your long-awaited music gear and start creating beautiful melodies. That concludes our deep dive into importing musical instruments and accessories into the USA. We hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to a customs broker who can guide you through the process. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep the music playing and have a fantastic day. Disclaimer notification below.